Hey guys, um, so today is Monday and tomorrow is going to be when season one of PvP drops, Mythic Plus drops, and the raid. So I figured I would talk a little bit about how I've felt with the game so far. So first thing, I feel like when it comes to WoW, I'm not actually someone who finds a lot of it that exciting or maybe it's more like I feel like now that I'm older, I care about my time and I also have never enjoyed grinding in a game that doesn't revolve skill, if that makes any sense. So even though there's a lot of new content in the game, such as the Maw, Torghast, and Covenant, I don't really find any of that interesting. They kind of feel like chores to me. So the Maw, I don't like that. Um, Torghast is okay, mainly because you can do the highest number and then you get all the rewards underneath it. So Torghast, I can see myself liking it because um, the fact that the anima powers always change and that your build will always be different in that sense, that is pretty cool. Also, it's something that you can do yourself. It's a supposedly challenging new feature that you'll be able to do yourself. And I feel like when it comes to a game like WoW, I do like stuff like that because sometimes if you are trying to do groups, whether it's like dungeons or raids and kind of getting frustrated by the people you're playing with, having a little bit of an escape where it's only based on you and your abilities that can be refreshing. I know that towers allows groups, but I feel like until it starts getting extremely, extremely, extremely hard, where maybe it's going to be impossible to solo, which I'm not sure if it would get to that point or if they would make it so that you should always be able to solo it if you play well enough. When it comes to the tower, I'm always going to be doing that by myself, ideally. On the other hand, when it comes to my character, I will say that I have definitely been kind of conflicted. So even though we haven't had much to do, literally just Mythic Zero, um, I have definitely found myself gravitating more towards Shadow. Shadow is actually in a pretty fun state right now, I'll have to say, because our damage is really, really competitive and I'm enjoying it. So I think the aspect of competing with the other DPS in your group for damage in dungeons is a lot more fun to me than I expected because I find myself doing that all the time. So even in these mythic zeros where they're actually pretty easy and it's kind of just a tank and spank, um, I am always, you know, trying to be number one or at least obviously when it comes to overall damage because you can't be number one for every single pack depending on how you rotate your cooldowns. But um, I have definitely been playing Shadow more than Disc. However, the first legendary that I crafted is the Discipline one. So I do still plan on meaning Disc. However, I feel like if possible, I'm going to try to make Shadow like... My second main if that makes any sense I know it's gonna be my off spec but if possible I'm gonna try to keep my gear as up-to-date for both specs as possible so something I have been considering is crafting a shadow legendary instead of upgrading the eye level of my disc one just so I can be able to play both specs without feeling like I'm gimping myself too hard but it's kind of early uh, Mythic Plus is just coming out tomorrow, so who knows, maybe I will find that healing the Mythic Plus is actually fun enough for me. I think I say that also because right now when you're healing Mythic Zeros, it's not too diverse. Like a lot of the packs, I might need to Shadow Mend a little bit, but for the most part I'm just smiting, 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 and that does get a little boring. So yeah, I think when it comes to Mythic Plus, it's really gonna just depend on who I end up playing with for if I play Shadow or not. If I'm in a group where there's another healer that is competent, then I would be happy to DPS instead of heal. Also, when it comes to talents, I've definitely been switching them around a lot more. Um, 
this first row, Fortress of the Mind, I actually think for dungeons, I am going to be using this because generating more insanity, I really like that a lot. Plus, if I end up crafting my legendary, I would probably be crafting this one because this one is from the raid and I don't plan on raiding. So the chances of me getting this is slim to none. So I would probably craft this one. And if you generate more insanity, then you will have more uptime on Devouring Plague, which means that your Mind Blast is going to deal more damage more often. This row, I never change. This row, I actually go between Misery and Searing Nightmare. However, I feel like in dungeons, I'm pretty much always going to use Searing Nightmare. I say that because it works amazing for large packs, of course. And it also works similarly to Misery on smaller packs because you can Vampiric Touch all the groups in the mob and then you just sear long enough so you could use Searing Nightmare so it dots all of them with pain. And then you can go back to a regular rotation where you're not going to be using Searing Nightmare for the pack, but um, it helped you dot everybody up with Shadowward Pain with a, within a couple seconds. So it's not so much like global, 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 the timing of it might still be similar, but maybe the damage that's going out is higher. I'm not sure, but that's just something that I've been experimenting with. Um, for a while, I was using Misery for some of the groups and just keeping Fortress and Void Torrent, but then I was like, you know, for some of these AoE packs, I'm not really keeping up as well as I would like, so this is a great talent. I really, really like it. Um, you know, for this row... I actually think that if I'm doing Mythic Plus, I would probably get Psychic Core because similar to what I said in Torghost, this is going to act as another interrupt for trash mobs. So maybe I'll stop them from doing a swipe or just like a cast. It's another form of interrupting them rather than having a shorter cooldown on silence. For this row, I'm honestly not sure what I plan on using, actually. So for a while, I've been leaving it on this just because, but I'm not really sure if that's the right choice. I feel like what you choose on this row should generally be okay. Um, Shadow Crash, maybe I'll try using it a bit more. The thing is, the keybind that I used to use for Shadow Crash is B. And now that's my bind for Searing Nightmare. So thinking of using this and then finding another bind for it, I'm just not too fond of it. I might actually consider using this one. But yeah, I'm going to have to play around with it. I guess I'll have to sim it, but I forget how you do that. It's been a couple years since I last simmed anything. For this row, I have really, really, really been enjoying using Boy Torrent. So I'm actually going to keep it because it generates so much insanity. So something I definitely need to try to be better about is trying to avoid using it over 50 insanity. Yeah, so sometimes I think I'm just barely over 50 insanity and then I use it and then when it fully channels and I'm capped at 100, I don't feel so great about it. That's just gonna take practice. Um, for this row, I just don't have interest in using Surrender to Madness just cause I don't want to try to predict and then die at the end. I'm just, eh, don't feel like worrying about that. So Hungering Void, I do like a lot because for larger groups, just the fact that you're going to be in a longer void form and extending your dots constantly, I just really like the aspect of that. This is just crit, so I don't feel like that appeals to me as much as something like this. Plus... I have wondered which is the better conduit for me to use. So I actually have three shadow ones here. This one is interesting, but I don't really know if I would go with that one because Shadow Fiend is on a three minute cooldown, right? Yes. I have considered using this one and I might do it. This one is actually not bad because shadowy apparitions. Yeah, so this one might actually be pretty good to keep because shadowy apparitions just are usually coming out per pack whereas for this well four percent chance is very very small and void bolt dealing 35 percent more damage is on a 1.5 minute cooldown so 
I think in the end, this is probably the better choice. But yeah, also mainly when it comes to discipline, I think I just need more practice with the spec, mainly with challenging content. So there's definitely a lot of times right now, too many times where I forget to use Rapture or I hold on to power word barrier so much. Like uh, I think when I'm not comfortable with playing a class at the very beginning, I don't use my cooldowns enough. It's kind of like when I first started playing this new shadow version. I was hardly ever using void eruption, but now whenever I'm doing dungeons, I'm actually, I feel like rotating between my cooldowns pretty efficiently. Well, whether I'm doing um, power infusion and shadow fiend on a pack, and then I'm using void eruption on another pack, and then I'm using boon of the ascended on the, another pack, and then I'm rotating between that. But for disc, I, yeah, I just like try to avoid using cooldowns just because ah, I don't know. There's a lot of situations where it's like I could have used it, but maybe I'll need it for something else coming up that's even harder, but that's just the wrong mentality to have. So um, having more um, experience playing disc with more challenging content will definitely help a lot. Plus, I feel like if you're actually forced to use cooldowns and then learning how to better react to certain situations that'll definitely help i feel like there's still times where the group is taking a lot of damage and aside from having power word radiance and hoping that my back procs so i get a really really strong penance um aside from that in halo i'm not really sure what is the best way to top people off of course i could always um Rapture as well to buy myself some time, maybe direct heal a bit, but um, yeah, just need more practice with that. So I'm definitely spending like 75% of my time playing Shadow in the game right now, but that's also because if you're doing any sort of questing or doing Torghast or doing a world quest for the Maw, then I'm going to be in Shadow and I do greatly enjoy it. So, well, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see if I really find myself loving shadow that much, then I'll just change specs and I guess accept the fact that I wasted some soul ash on a discipline legendary. But since they both share crit and haste as their prioritized stat, I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to balance between the two. The main difference is just trinkets and then the legendary. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think that's pretty much my thoughts for now. Um, if you have other things you want to discuss, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to reply. But yes, excited for Mythic Plus this week. And I'm hoping to get some competitive content for you guys. Very curious to see how high the key could get on the first week. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, listening to me talk. <laughs>